Samahan niyo akong sleepy new score ko and let me tell you about my IELTS journey in this video today. Hi there! Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. This video right here, here is part ng aking IELTS journey. And if you haven't seen yung first part ng series na ito where I discussed kung ano ba yung IELTS, para saan ba ito, ano ba yung magkakaibang mga tests na you can take, and kung paano nyo siya masisimulan, you can click right here dun sa i button if you're watching this on YouTube. Sa video na ito, I'm going to walk you through the entire process, ano experience ko, some of my tips, at kung paano kayo matutulungan din ng British Council IELTS dun sa buong process na ito. Okay? But again, yes, we will open yung aking envelope at uh, papakita ko sa inyo yung score ko mamaya. But before ko ipapakita yung score ko sa inyo at bubuksan yung envelope na yan, let me just remind you that we still have yung promo going on. So, if you want to sign up for your own IELTS exam sa British Council, you can use this promo code to get this book for free once you sign up and also yung ating voucher for your online shopping, okay? Uh, you can find yung promo code right here and the link to the British Council website doon sa description box sa baba, okay? Now, let me tell you what happened leading up to the exam. And I'm sharing this to you kasi nung ako rin ay nagpe-prepare for my IELTS exam, wala akong idea at all sa kung ano ba yung nangyayari doon, ano ba yung mga klase ng tinatanong, ano ba yung buong proseso niya. So, talaga medyo feeling lost ako. And one of the things that helped me is yung mga resources ng British Council IELTS. Now, there are three online resources na ino-offer ng British Council sa inyo. Uh, the first one would be Road to IELTS. And yes, meron siyang free version. So, kung gusto nyo ng quick overview sa mga klase ng tanong na lumalabas sa IELTS, ano yung mga pwede nyo expect na scenarios or line of questioning, meron kang first taste nun sa Road to IELTS. Again, the links will be in the description box sa baba. Meron ding quick na computer-delivered uh, familiarization test that you can take right now. Again, the links are in the description box sa baba. Just so you can have an idea dun sa buong proseso, anong klase yung mga tanong na lumalabas, uh, ano, paano ko ba uh, i-work yung interface. Kasi uh, if you're taking the computer-delivered test, this is going to be extra helpful sa inyo. But again, whether paper, pencil naman, or computer-delivered, either way, all of these resources can be of help. Kasi malalaman ninyo yung klase nga ng mga tanong na tinatanong, ano yung mga uh, level ba ng fluency or level ng comprehension na nire require for you to do well pagdating sa exam. Now, another resource that you can make use of, which I did make use of, ay yung mga libreng webinars ng British Council IELTS. Meron ding link sa baba, dun sa Facebook page nila, where you can see other announcements kung kailan nyo susunod. Malaking tulong talaga sa akin yung webinars kasi, again, nung nagsimula ako, wala talaga akong idea sa kung anong nangyayari sa IELTS exam. And uh, attending one of the webinars gave me that walkthrough ng magiging experience ko. Merong expert na nag-discuss din ng mga nangyayari sa loob ng exam, things that you can expect, and magbibigay din sila ng mga tips sa inyo. So, again, all of these resources, you can find more information about that sa the description box sa baba. Okay? Now, that was what happened before my test. Now, ganun ako nag-prepare for the exam, and then nung dumating na yung mismong araw ng exam, it came with its own set of ano ba, worries for me. Number one would be kung gaano siya ka-safe dahil nga may COVID-19 crisis tayo right now. And uh, syempre, natatakot ako kasi uh, first time ko na yung lalabas ng bahay in a long time. And um, syempre, nasa BGC kasi yung, yung venue, no? And I'm in Quezon City. So, inisip ko, paano kaya yun? Uh, magiging safe ba yung buong process? Ano ba yung mga precaution din na ginawa ng British Council? Is it really safe? Now, Maganda na nung unang-unang dating ko pa lang sa venue, it became really clear that they were not cutting any corners dito sa pagiging safe nung lugar at sa pagiging safe nung venue at sa pagpo-protect dun sa mga people who are going to take the exam. Bakit? Kasi first step pa lang, which is kung paano ka papasok sa loob ng building, eh sobrang strict na. 
Okay? Kung wala yung pangalan mo sa list ng mga examinees for the day, hindi ka nila papapasukin. Okay? So, for those of you na nag-iisip na, okay, magsasama nga ako ng friend pag nang exam ako, I'm telling you right now na don't do that na kasi hindi, ka, hindi nila sila papapasukin. Hindi nagpapapasok ng hindi nakalagay sa listahan. Which is great. Kasi pagdating nga sa patient tracking, contact tracing, in the event na wag naman sana may ganung klaseng possibility, magiging mas madali kasi nga, nakalista lahat ng pangalan ng mga taong pumapasok sa building. And again, building security pa lang yan. Of course, may temperature check. At meron ding alcohol dispenser sa kahit saan ka tumingin. Now, pagdating nun, papasok ka na sa lobby, and of course, you're going to get your guest pass. Now, pagdating sa mismong floor, kung nasaan nandoon yung test center ng British Council, the entire process is smooth, kasama na rin ang isa pang temperature check, kasama uli yung uh, pagsasanitize ng kamay. Meron din doon na form for you to fill out so you can declare if uh, nag-travel ka pa before, may symptoms ka or may encounter ka sa kahit sino na naging na positive sa COVID-19. So again, they're not cutting any corners. They, they are taking every step ng precaution na possible kasama na yan doon. Meron din silang uh, magandang flow pagdating sa office. Uh, pagpasok mo pala doon sa waiting area, you would see may mga clear markers saan ka pwedeng umupo and ano yung mga seats na hindi naman din pwedeng upuan kasi nga again, we're practicing physical distancing. There are signs all over the place and meron din silang strict na guidelines when it comes to even using the bathroom. Walang chance na meron kang makakasalubong sa hallway, walang chance na meron people na sobrang magiging yung malapit sa'yo. Doon sa confirmation na process ng iyong identity wherein they have someone check your passport and your information, there are acrylic shields sa bawat isang stage to make sure that the person, uh, yung employee ng British Council who is verifying our information doesn't have actual contact with us. Tapos, nililinis din yung acrylic na yon periodically. So again, it's very safe, it's very clean, and it's very smooth. Maganda rin yung pagbibigay ng instructions. Now, bago ko kayo bigyan ng walkthrough dun sa mismong test itself, let me just remind you that you need your passport with you. Now, here's a quick little tip for you guys. If you are going to take the IELTS exam, gagamitin kasi yung passport as uh, your ID pagdating sa confirmation dun sa mismong venue ng exam. So, mas maganda if you can bring another government ID or another valid ID na siya namang iiwan mo dun sa lobby ng building. Yes, ganun sila ka-strict. Kailangan mo mag-iwan ng ID para papasukin ka or para bigyan ka ng guest pass. And again, we understand that this is just part of the routine dahil na nag-iingat tayong lahat. And you can only bring certain uh, objects sa loob ng testing center. Maganda rin na meron silang lockers that you could use for free to leave yung inyong phone and inyong bags sa labas habang ikaw ay nag -e exam Ang dadalhin lang kasi sa loob ng mismong room ay water, if meron kang water, pero it has to be in a clear container. Dapat kitang-kita, transparent yung iyong container. And, of course, your identification at pencil. Sa case nga, actually, hindi na ako nagdala ng pencil, uh, pero meron din silang available na pencil dun sa mismong booth kung saan ka magtake ng exam. Computer-delivered test kasi yung kinuha ko. And what that meant was, kanya-kanya kami ng booth, okay, uh, na merong sarili na naming desktop, computer, and uh, naka-mark na yon, naka-sanitize na yon, and uh, designated na yon for every person. And it's also one booth apart. So, ibig sabihin, hindi kami dikit-dikit, hindi ka talaga ma-expose sa ibang tao kasi daging may isang empty booth in between. So, I really commend British Council for doing this, no? Ito, extra, extra precaution talaga siya for everyone. Kasi, if you think about it, it means less people can take the test at one time. Pero, they did that to make sure that all of the test takers are safe. So, yun, nag-exam na kami, no? It, uh, it is the same booth for the first three tests na kinuha ko. Yung listening test, tapos yung reading test, at saka writing test. And all of that happened in succession. Now, ito na yung, <laughs> yung experience ko. I was actually a little bit nervous about the interface nung, nung mismong computer uh, delivered test. Kasi sometimes, di ba, it, it can be a bit uh, clunky or uh, baka hindi masyadong smooth yung, yung interface nila or baka hindi masyadong user-friendly. 
Pero when I took the test, it was really easy, okay, to figure it out. Uh, may mga guide buttons. Meron ding help, if in case you need extra help. Tapos, ang maganda, yung sa listening test, meron ka rin full control dun sa volume nung pakikinggan. Now, it may not seem like a, a big detail for other people, pero sa akin, sobrang importante yon. Medyo, medyo kinabahan ako sa listening test, sa totoo lang. And the reason is, kasi medyo mahina yung pandinig ko, kasi drummer ako for a long time, and dahil kakatutugtog ko ng drums without uh, proper ear protection, medyo na-damage din yung pandinig ko. So, natatakot ako, sabi ko, pag nag-listening test, paano kaya yun? Uh, baka hindi ko maintindihan, kasi baka mahina yung volume. Pero let me tell you, hindi ko nga tinodo yung volume dun sa earphones ko. It was actually nasa mga 60% or 70% lang nung, nung bar, kasi you have full control kung gano'n siya kalakas. Pero sobrang linaw niya pa sa akin. So again, kung uh, there are people who have even worse hearing than I have, Walang problema kasi marami pa siyang iaangat. So mas pwede mo pa siyang lakasan kaysa dun sa ginawa ko. So again, nawala yung yung fear ko about that. It was clear and maganda yung headset. Uh, malinaw yung tunog. Okay? After the listening test came the reading test. Yung reading test was actually quite uh, smooth then. Maganda rin kasi you can still change your answers if you feel na okay, nagkamali ako dito. Um, we can go back to questions that you missed um, dun sa first run mo kung may extra time ka. So you can really maximize yung score mo pagdating sa dalawang uh, parts ng exam na yon. After that came the writing test. Yung writing test uh, was a bit of an experience for me kasi there are two things that you need to write. And bibigyan nila kayo ng limited time for both. Now, during the webinar that I attended, the instructor gave, gave us a tip. Sabi niya, huwag ka masyadong mag-focus daw dun sa first na writing exercise. Kasi the second writing exercise is more technical and needs more time for you to write. Pero hindi ko tinake yung advice na yun seriously. Sayang lang kasi nung nandun na ako sa mismong exam, uh, medyo, I feel masyadong marami yung time na spinned ko dun sa first na writing exercise. Kaya medyo nakulangan na ako dun ng time dun sa pangalawa. So hindi ko na siya na proofread or hindi ko na siya na edit ng gusto. Kinarir ko kasi yung first one. And I probably lost some marks dahil doon. Pero that's okay. Uh, natuto na ako, huwag yun na akong gayahin. Again, you really have to make sure that you manage your time well pagdating sa exam. Now, after I finished those three parts, yung speaking test naman. Pero it came later on in the afternoon. So after nung unang tatlong test, nag-lunch break muna ako. Tapos after my lunch, bumalik ako agad. Kasi 2 p.m. yung schedule ng aking speaking test. Now, yung speaking test, medyo kinakabahan din ako honestly about that kasi nga it's been months since yung last kong conversation with a stranger uh, lalo na sa physical na setting and of course with the COVID-19 crisis some people would say na parang paano yun eh paano ka mag-face to face na, na speaking test kung, kung may COVID-19 now sa case ko although nasa same room kami Merong siyang mataas na acrylic shield uli and dahil may shield hindi ako nakaharap talaga nung person who was administering the test. We could hear each other, although dapat mo rin talaga i-project yung boses mo kasi nga, may shield na, tapos may face mask ka pa, tapos may face shield ka pa. Pero, safe na safe naman kasi nga, magkahiwalay talaga kayo. Now, that is another thing na I may have forgotten to mention earlier in the video. Hindi lang kayo required na mag-face mask. Required din kayo na mag-face mask at face shield the entire time. The entire time, ibig sabihin, kailangan kahit nasa lobby ka lang, naka-face shield ka pa rin. And this is something na I was willing to comply kasi ano eh, it's for my safety and for the safety of everyone else. And seeing everyone follow the rules really gave me a sense of security. Kasi ang importante nga again is lahat kami, nag-iingat din kami talaga. Hindi lang kami, pati yung mga employees ng British Council. Everyone who interacted with us followed the same type of protocol. Now, yung mismong exam na uh, was actually quite good. Sa tingin ko, it was a good chat between me and uh, the person administering the test. The line of questioning was really good. It was fluid. And if you have any doubts na, okay, kakayanin ko ba ito? There are exercises dun sa website sa Road to IELTS. And you can also take a quick look dun sa book. Diba? Dito sa book na ito, sa loob, meron ding chapter on speaking. 
and meron dong mga possible na mga questions or the types of questions that you could expect. And if you devote time and really practice, you can expect to increase your score din uh, kapag ready ka with the types of questions that uh, they can throw at you. And again, the entire um, atmosphere, although nakikita mo na syempre everyone was a little bit nervous kasi it's still an exam, uh, there was this ano naman, feeling na, okay, we're in good hands. So that was yung aking test-taking na experience. After that, we left and then waited for for the results. Ang maganda rin, sinasabi rin naman nila kung kailan namin pwedeng i-expect yung mga results. You can see it online and they will also send you something like this, which is yung envelope with the test results. And now that we are at this point na, let me show you yung aking score. So, sisilipin na natin kung ano yung nangyari <laughs> dun sa aking field trip outside of the home after so many months. Okay. So, I won't show you the parts na meron nung aking personal details. Let me just bend this. Pero, ito yung aking ito yung aking score. With the help of yung Road to IELTS, yung familiarization test, and the book, you can see the links din sa baba again. Ito yung aking score. Okay, so uh, yun yung aking score. Uh, and hindi naman ako nagulat dun sa, dun sa results. Kasi, uh, again, I knew that I didn't do that well when it comes to yung writing test. Naubusan nga ako ng time. Uh, pero dun sa listening test, I got 9. Yung, yung band 9. And again, meron namang meaning dun sa back nung paper. Band 9, ang ibig sabihin, expert user has fully operational command of the language. Appropriate, accurate, and fluent with complete understanding. Uh, band 9, din ako sa reading test uh, which ito yung unang dalawang parts nung test kasi yung writing ko 7.5 lang so uh, I think it's between good user and very good user so speaking test naman ang score ko is 8.5 so nasa pagitan ng very good user at expert user and that's okay kahit 8.5 lang kasi uh, nagkamali ako I think in one of the pronouns I called my sister a he so, I don't know if yun yung naging um, markdown for me. At as ano rin, one thing I could have done better would be to speak a little bit slower. Kasi ang nangyari was, uh, I was speaking the way I normally spoke. And I know some people also complain that I speak too fast in my videos. But believe me, that is me trying my hardest to speak slow. Mabliss po talaga ako magsalita. So, uh, that could be something that I could do better if I am to take IELTS again. So, kayo na hindi pa take ng IELTS, maybe something din na you could consider kapag kayo na yung mag exam So, ang aking overall band score is 8.5. Not bad for a first-time taker. And uh, again, kasi 9 yung highest, so 8.5, okay ako dun. Kasi uh, may room talaga for improvement. And yun yung aking general experience. Now again, the entire journey was a bit of an adventure mula sa pag-register for the exam, sa pag-prepare for the exam, looking at all of the possible materials that could help you prepare for the exam. And I know na even if magkakaiba tayo ng level ng fluency right now, all of these resources put together can really help you achieve yung required ninyo na band score. I know that in certain situations, meron requirements. Nakita ko rin sa ibang mga comments ninyo na merong mga target kayo na band score. And I think you could achieve that if you really devote your time then to research and to using all of these resources, yung uh, road to IELTS, yung yung uh, computer delivered familiarization test that you can take in the description box sa baba. And if you can also get, yun nga yung book. Okay, itong book na ito. So for any of you who are interested to take the IELTS and you're planning to do it right now or really soon, uh, limited din yung time natin to offer yung voucher code. So mag-sign up na kayo if you want this. And of course, meron tayong mga vouchers pa na ipamimigay. May bibigay sa inyo yung British Council IELTS that you can use for online shopping sa mga online portals na dagdag din, di ba? May book ka na, tapos meron ka pang extra na spending money for online shopping, di ba? Isn't that fun? So all of those you can get if you use our code, which is B-C-I-E-L-T-S. X Leica. Okay, so naka-flash niyo sa screen niyo. If you're going to sign up for a test, just use that voucher code. Okay? 
Now again, I'm grateful that British Council helped me make this video, gave me permission to shoot inside the premises so I can show you what goes on inside. And at least now I have a first-hand experience when it comes to IELTS, which is something that I really need to learn from you before. If you want more videos about this, any other tips that I can give you, comment nyo na lang din sa baba. Subscribe na if you haven't yet. Hit that bell icon. And if you want more information about British Council IELTS, the programs they offer, the entire setup, you can watch the first video. And you can also reach out to them directly. Yung mga website nila at saka social media pages nila will be in the description box din sa baba. So thank you so much for watching this video and staying until the end. Thank you sa pakikinig sa aking kwento. And I hope that when you take your IELTS exam, you score even better than I did. Okay? So kung kaya ko, kaya nyo rin yan. And uh, as you always see sa channel na to, Never Stop Learning. Adja, adja, kaya nyo yan. I'll see you in the next video and bye for now.